Oh, you're here. Let's go unbox the under seven. So guys, it's been a while since I made a video, COVID and all that stuff, but uh, I got myself a new printer, thanks to Creality that sent it to the shop, and I bought it. <laughs> so let's do the unboxing. Um, it stayed a little bit, like two or three days to accommodate because it was cold outside here in Romania, and uh, as you know, the guys with the shipping, they always ship it with this edge up, so we should check it out to see if it's in one piece. Opening up the box, everybody says the box should be with thick cardboard and foam for your bath. <laughs> but hey, the producer, the manufacturer, needs to make sure that the product he sells gets in one piece or seven pieces to the client. Yoohoo! I waited for this for quite some time. My guy who helped me with the videos was not available and I have to do this myself. So foam or the bath, after sales, service card, manual, very good, a box with no side to open it, crack it open, spool of filament, PLA, white, half a kilo. Oh shoot. I should grab my camera and take a few pictures. Okay, so on the first layer after we remove the filament and the box, we have the upper side of the printer that contains the print head, PDF tube connections and the frame. Now I weighted this thing, it's about 22 kilos. Of course I weighted on uh, the scale of that's not. You know, so I was on my wife's profile. She's gonna think she gained some weight. <sighs> Linear rays, one of the reasons I bought this printer. The other one, Core X Y. The extruder, I would have wished it was a direct extruder. These linear rays are small, so I'm gonna say they're MGN9. Gates, belts, I like them. And, of course, these type of motors, which they say they're revolutionary. And stop for the Z height. Hmm. Looks nice. Let's go unbox some more. Uh, 
Okay, next layer, next picture. Some posts, I guess, that connect the upper body to the lower body. With cardboard, Ooh. the axis, roller bearings. Not very a big fan of roller bearings. No play, maybe a little. Hope they gave me the wrench. Another post. Now all these uh, alloy extrusions should make it sturdy. And the final layer, pull holder. No, oh, this is a cover. Fit it bad. Good connector. Five pins. So two for the heating, two for the thermostat, and one for the. We don't know. Hello, phone. After this, I'm going to take a bath. With a lot of foam. And finally, the base. Oh, I should not drop this. Man, it's heavy. So sheet metal, blended. Cheap plastic connector. And fan. And uh, a place to cool down with this grid. USB-C type connector, SD card, and uh, well, I don't get to peel it smoothly, and that's about it. Well, I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures, and then let's get on with the assembly. So, I managed to open the box. I don't even know if that shit is recording. There are some things that we don't need and some things that we do need. Now, from this, I can tell it's a precise medical instrument. Look, a needle to unclog the nozzle. Never seen this before. Really nice. I don't know if it helps. So this is the manual and we should be beginning the assembly. First step. First step says we gotta mount the Z-axis. So let's get all these things out of the way. Uh, by the way, I have some Allen wrenches and some Allen things. But I will try to do with what came into the package. Maybe some of you don't have it. It's gonna be hard. Because they're cheap. But hey. If it works, it's gonna be good. Oh, we received a USB with an SD card. I guess this USB stick is an adapter to put the SD card in. 
and a uh, couple of nozzles with some uh, clips for the bottom tube. Set of pliers, very good. Let's start. Yeah, and the spatula. Ooh. First step insert the Z axis with four bolts and some shims. Yeah. So first of all let's see the Z axis. I saw that this wasn't very aligned. Has a little bit of wobble and this one rubs. So let's take the wrench and adjust. This one is a bit loose. And this one binds a little. So we have two hexagonal nuts, a screw, yeah, the other way around, yeah, maybe we should hold on to this, certainly not with this one, maybe with this one, stay, So how am I supposed to hold on to this nut? None of these fit. This one is good, this one isn't. I can still feel a little bit of bind. Let's see this one. Yeah, this one needs to be closer. Um, better. Okay. Check them both. No wiggle. This one still bite. Okay. bit better I don't like how this is going. The other one I made it work like in seconds. But this one, I feel it binding. And I can see the wheels. 
Yeah, I got it. So we have to remove this connector and set the post like that. Stay four bolts. I have here a lot of bolts. You don't really show what kind of bolts. But I have two smaller different and a lot the same. So I guess they're gonna be all this the same. Let's see what type of wrench do we need. Wrench, Allen key. This one. So four bolts. Two, three, and one. Let's align it with the holes. And here's something that's wrong. They don't align. And they shouldn't align. This part is done. So I have to Press down the connector, put it in the motor, no, I have to put the motor and the connector of the motor has a slot in which the cable enters, the coupling, and now it should be ok.
Yeah, the whole is the line. I mean, it shows you in the manual, but I'm in a rush. And I also don't know about the printer. I saw a few clips. Of course, I looked at the specs and uh, it fitted my needs. And it's gonna help me with my next project. It's gonna be a custom printer made from scratch in a server rack. It's gonna be big, but it's gonna take some time. You know, with this COVID and stuff. Shipment of materials. It also got me, so I'm not at my hundred percent. And even though I passed the disease, I don't feel like before. They say it's stinky because you don't feel it. You have no smell. <laughs> so we should tight it evenly on one side and the other. This kind of gets in the way. How to make them stay? No. Nope. Yeah. So I feel like these are tightened enough. Just one. Okay, I'm going to spark. That's the other one. trying to contain myself but usually when I screw and unscrew bolts I kind of work with my mouth <laughs> man I'm ha so happy about this 3D printer it's my second stock 3D printer I made two others 3D painters, but I made them from scratch. So the connector fits here, hopefully. I see 8 pins on the motor, but connected there are only 4. I should get this in, because it's from here. Yeah, 
got it. Nice. Hearing sturdy. Second step. This took quite some time. So let's read this now. Eight screws M5. At least now it says. And uh, the one, the ones with this bolt, which kind of gets out of this, is on the upper side. Oh, what I can tell. Let's see. They're the same. Doesn't tell left or right. So another eight bolts. Let's go. I'm gonna stick them with my hand just so they don't fall. Now there they are a little bit scratched. You can see on the black profile that they have some scratches. Light scratches, but they are there. When you're trying to screw, you're trying to screw this M5 and it doesn't go in from the first time. Try to back it up until you feel it that it goes into the screwing path and then screw it. Ooh. Somebody's searching for me. Hang on a little. And so we're back. No more out of space. Man, I can't believe it. I'm gonna have a 3D printer in about an hour. Hopefully working. Now it does not have auto bed leveling and this is kind of an issue because I would have liked it to have it but from what I've seen it does not come in the original package but you can buy it of course you have to modify the firmware so maybe we can add it later. Also after we assemble it I am very curious about the electronics. So I am going to open the, the hood and see what's, what's inside. From a few videos I have seen the Z motor comes, driver comes from the main board but the X and Y have dedicated digital drivers which are a nice thing gives them a little bit more power torque but I don't think that they're as silent as uh, TMC drivers now I'm trying to be gentle here because usually I screw them until water comes out of them the screws. <laughs> this time I'm gonna be gentle. Oh by the way, 
My Wi-Fi password is subscribe. <laughs> if you're ever in this area. Ah. I'm in a hurry. When I'm in a hurry, doesn't get right. Oh, there, snug. This one is it. I should have done this side rather than keep walking. One side and the other side. Here is flush with the base. Here also. Could use some music. Yay! Step two done. So I had a little coffee break. Uh, we managed to get to the second step, adding those pillars. And now they say, let's mount the bed printing platform with four M4, six cup heads, four M4. So these little guys, which are shiny. So these ones are the shiny ones and these ones are the black, not these ones for the bed. Uh, let's take the bed. So it says 24 volts, nice, should heat up fastly and it also has some insulation. Man, this printer is weak. Oh, uh, one more thing, this video, if you made it this far, isn't scripted, so it's just what I'm, I'm trying to give back to this community, because there's a lot of great guys doing great stuff, great tutorials, and I thought I could make one myself, also make the channel. And uh, you should, if you can, have a little patience with me because I don't generally speak a lot of English with someone and uh, I have to think it in Romanian and translate it in English. So, the four bolts go on the... on the what? Because these ones are full. So, what you're seeing is that I have to remove them and put them back. So, they already came with some bolts and they are screwed. This one not. 
Okay, only these two. Yeah. So I have to take them off, I think. They're the same. By the way, it's tilted here. I think I should put something like the spool under the bed so I can grab it more easily. And this was tight. So if these ones come up, yeah, let's put this roll of filament here. A bit higher. Something else. Let me grab a box. kind of works okay Why won't you go in? You did, didn't you? First row in for the bed. Now should all line. going to tighten this too much because maybe it needs a little bit more alignment
Okay. Now we remove this. And this. And we're good. Next up. All the other screws that attach to the lead screw of the Z motor. So there are about four. Yeah, it lines up. I also want to take the cover off the main base to see if all the connectors are inserted properly. Next step, top component, no. yeah I forgot about these ones. Kind of hard to stick this one. But I got it. Don't worry. Okay, I should bring you a little closer so you can see. So, these are the screws. it moves but only in the down or works yeah. oh in the upper still but very very hard should I twist it 
and the upper body. Okay, so from what I can tell, uh, I showed you there's another screw on this pillar that it's outside of the flat part. Those screws have holes in the upper part and uh, help with the alignment of this. And it's huge. I thought it was a bit smaller. So, 8 screws on the upper part. This is going to be fun. It's not working with the hand. So I should put one in each corner and then Right now I'm thinking it should have been better if I didn't screw these ones because it's a bit harder to align them. Let's see, we don't pinch anything and we don't. Maybe I'll loosen this a little bit. I align the upper part. Yeah, I think it's better. Don't have to be so tight. So we can align. Then we'll tighten them down. I did it. So, pro tip. These sides, the distance between these holes are is smaller than the distance between these two holes. And with this one, you can't really tighten it. Get yourself one of these. 
so you can have the place in order to spin it and not stay an hour with this one also if it were to begin from the start I would mount the fillers and the z-axis firstly on the upper side and then mount it on this side <coughs> Flipping it back here. Before I forget, I will tighten this back down. With my Allen key. Man, it sucks with that one. Would this help? I think not. This is for the nozzle. Good. Okay, now the connections. I inserted the Z motor here. I guess this one goes up. To this big connector, it has a notch, so you can put it the other way around. Kind of looks with the computer connection that was on the old hard drives. And I think I saw something like this here that should hold this kind of a ribbon nice with the Creality logo Yeah Looks nice. Maybe here. 
here so it doesn't interfere but I would like it to go a bit up yeah like this nice cable management is everything for the looks so the heated bed also has a notch I can see it, it's down on my aviator plug and we kind of did it let's see what else the cover for the bed Yeah, clips in place, nice. <clears throat> and we're almost good to go. Now, I want to turn it on one side and let's look inside at the electronics to see if all the connectors are there. And also we should peel this off. don't want this plastic to be melted. This is a protective layer. I get to feel something today. I'm liking this, I'm liking this glass. And underneath this glass, with nice texture, texture is an aluminium and the way you take it off nice okay let's look at the electronics
Ta-da! Let's put this aside. Let me see if it's in focus. Yeah. So bring it a little bit closer. Dampening feet. Rubber. Then the display, which seems to be connected to our uh, SPI USB connection. Mm -hmm. This one. The connectors are well placed with a bit of hot glue. We have a safety fuse. This connector that comes on the mains voltage is also with a safety fuse. Kind of thin these wires. This one a bit thicker. I can see that the, it's grounded the power supply and the case yeah let's check it out the voltage is set to 230 which is good in my area so these are the digital drivers I don't know if they really are so the battery on the camera decided to give up it took a while I put it back together and uh, I managed to level the bed wasn't hard I put all the springs I tightened them all the way up then I uh, adjusted the Z height screw then slowly released the knobs until the nozzle touched the bed then I went to auto-leveling manually and now I'm gonna try it see how it works uh, I want to leave it about the mount on the standard stock everything and uh, get a lot of prints and after that I think I'm gonna tweak it a little at the leveling sensor and maybe maybe give up on these rollers and set up some linear rails thank you for watching don't forget to give me your lsd like subscribe and distribute bye